Okay, the next talk is Wireless Power Transfer by David Emmert. Give him a warm applause. Everybody, hello. Uh, this is my geek approach uh, to reproduce uh, exotic technology, which is uh, con which is uh, Tesla's magnifying transmitter, and that is a wireless power device. Uh, the beginning was uh, using some internet information, reading the patents, original texts like that one, and the power transfer was something I will show. Just a second. The, that was the original uh, patent uh, that, was, that uh, actually uh, was uh, produced by Tesla. And uh, in this text, it was not easy to understand how is it done, because the language uh, was used very archaically. Uh, in that times, the technology like uh, electronics were not developed, so he used some analogs from mechanics and, uh, and similar terms to describe electrical, uh, electrical terms which he used and the logic where that is done to um, produce the wireless uh, power transfer device. Uh, by collecting the information, afterwards uh, I get some picture how should it work. So I started to build the prototype of, uh, based on my understanding and some calculations. I will show you in this course uh, what, I have, uh, what I have understood from the principles, how does it work. It's my version probably. It works something similar or it works completely different than mine, but you're <coughs> this is an approach based on non-knowledge. Uh, based on known software and uh, known calculations, and many of the effects which are at the first time unexpec unexpected or strange could be explained using uh, the, the software and the calculation, but I guess not all. Um, this uh, technology uh, is, oh, just a second. Uh, there, is a <coughs> there is something called Tesla magnifying transmitter. Is a it is a device uh, that is different than Tesla's transformer uh, in a sense that is somehow similar, uh, simpler and it works better for the wireless power transfer. Uh, I would show you um, if, if I can see somewhere, somewhere the Tesla's transformer. I must look at that. Yes, this is the Tesla's transformer that we usually know it has primary coil that is thick fire down there, and it has the resonator. This is a coil with many uh, thinner wire uh, turns, and there is a top load capacitor up there. It, uh, this device is, uh, was used by Tesla it, at his early days, about uh, uh, until 19, uh, 1895, when he invented the magnifying transmitter. Now, uh, in the early days, that was an experiment that Tesla demonstrated at New York, which he could power wirelessly uh, some uh, kind of fluorescent lamps, and the lamps every time, everywhere in the, in the room stayed light. Mm -hmm. All the lamps were powered by some device similar to that. Now, mm -hmm. I would like to, uh, to begin just, just a second. I have another... Uh, things to see. So the wireless tower is his next, I will show it again. Uh, the wireless, uh, Tesla's wireless tower was never completed. It was the biggest device ever built and we believe that was the magnifying, uh, that was the future supposed to be magnifying transmitter. Uh, my version of how should it be completed is to, to wind the wire around this tower. And, uh, and when this tower was built, Tesla in his, uh, I, I was 
reading some texts which are probably <coughs> from the internet. I, I cannot confirm their, uh, <laughs> if, if they are really true, but Tesla wanted for this tower to be reversed. So it, was, it should be white at the top and thin at the bottom, something like ice cream. But this stuff wouldn't, wouldn't handle the, the statics. Uh, I have done the calculation with the reverse geometry and it should work better for the same material used. You can get more power from such device. So I have replicated something like that in my experiment. But first, uh, for, for the first we need to know how does it work at, uh, in his essence and then try to build some prototype. So well, um, I started with... Uh, Oh yes, I forgot something. The main idea of this tower was uh, to transfer energy in uh, long distance. This is not a mobile device, this is something that... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, has, uh, it actually is only effective when it is big and when the power uh, transferred by this unit is large. Such tower, uh, Tesla uh, said that it uh, could transmit 7 megawatts of power, but from the calculation it goes that if you have a dry day and uh, so the conductivity is low of the air, it could accept 180 megawatts, what was approximate whole production uh, at, uh, at, the, at the Niagara Springs uh, power plant. So something like that. Um, this device works uh, and uses Earth as a planet and as a part of the antenna. So the Earth itself is uh, is um, uh, is, me uh, is um, how can I say <laughs> is taking a part in the transmission in a way that this antenna is um, non-symmetrical. One part of the antenna is that, and so coil is down there, and the Earth and the ground be below is second part of the antenna. So it's a transmission device that is uh, done on the planetary level. That's, that is the range, so any range on the planet should be uh, accessible with uh, such device. Um, so I started with, uh, with the texts, original ones, I think something like that, and this text we will not we will skip something. Uh, this is a mechanical anal analogy when Tesla explains what's the difference between ordinary transmit, uh, power transfer with two wires and uh, the other thing when only uh, one wire in this uh, term, this wire is the Earth as a planet, is used as power transmission. So in the alternating uh, current circuit, that has electrical uh, schema up there. His, uh, here is a generator and there are two wires and there is uh, some kind of lamp that, uh, that uses this energy. Mechanical al analogy of this transfer is a piston and the uh, water pipes around here. So piston goes up and down. This is our uh, alternating current and pushes the water alternatively up here on, or back there and this is a thin uh, thin, uh, I mean, uh, tube that uh, receives the energy. So the second, uh, second analogy is his wireless transfer device that has ground connected to one part of uh, one uh, terminal of the generator, and the second terminal is co connected to the mm, uh, to the capacitor. Capacitor in the air. This is this ball that you have seen on the on the magnifier. And the piston goes up and down like that, uh, takes, uh, gets energy to the, to the consumer, and here is, a, uh, let's say, some kind of a balloon that, is, uh, that can be filled with water and uh, emptied when the piston goes back. I have, one, uh, I have one animation to make it better to see. I will orient that like this, so computer will do it now. What this device does, let me, let me stop a little bit. Imagine this is a 
capacitor and uh, size